thanks so much for watching our video on uh, the show we have at Orr Street Studios. Jane Mudd and Lisa Bartlett are showing an exhibit called Saints and Sinners. This piece is called Lady Truth, and she's all about um, what's been going on for the last four years in our country since 2016. Um, I have been painting um, mostly women, mostly women who belong to the Nasty Women's Society. Um, we're all a little pissed off. It really struck me to my core when I was when I realized that no matter how good we are, no matter what we do, no matter what we, you know, how hard we work, we're always just gonna be nasty women. These pieces are all part of the Nasty Women's Society. They're all members. Some are saints, some are sinners, some are both. It's kind of all encompassing and I think we're all a little bit saint and a little bit sinner, but it was fun, um, a, kind of a project in design and arranging things. I added the horns later when I knew we were doing this because, well, why not? Because I can do what I want. <laughs> and we're all a little saint and sinner, aren't we? Well, these are the church ladies, and um, they're here to judge us every step of the way. They are very judgmental, but they have their own problems too. I could have put horns on them just as well. This piece is called Misunderstood. It's about a young man who loves to twirl and wear frilly things. And he is very beautiful, but there's so much judgment going on in our world. So um, in spite of that, he's able to overcome and be himself. And he is a happy man. Sometimes I enjoy just using symbols and depicting them and um, creating almost a craft-like piece. It's not anything you have to think about too hard, but throughout history these symbols have been used. And I like the folkiness of how they have been used in the past. These are my skeleton assemblages. I like um, arranging things on a ground, and um, this was a fun project. 
I like to make things like this every once in a while. It's um, a little bit mindless, but it's also, you know, just fun. Well, here we have the devil on clarinet. You know, he's just a happy fellow. And somebody probably sold their soul at the crossroads and he took their clarinet in the end which is not a happy ending. This piece is called Purgatory Lane and it's all about meeting the devil at the crossroads, that whole allegory about selling your soul to be able to do something better. And the best story is about Robert Johnson who does this very thing, but I think it can relate to all of us with what we have going on in our worlds. Um, we all sort of sell a piece of us with um, different situations that we're in. I happen to like the dog. He's just there for support. So this is a guitar that I have painted and um, I have a whole series of guitars that I've been doing. This one is um, El Diablo, and he is uh, quite a gruesome character. And uh, I like decorating the object, and it's fun to work on something that's three-dimensional. Again, this is um, Meet Up at the Crossroads, and um, it's where all the decisions are made. I like this dapper fellow with the pink guitar. Uh, we don't really know how he ends up in the end with um, the decision he makes. I like to think that he uh, just kept his own talents. Here we have Bad Luck and Trouble also the crossroads situation and um, that devil he wants that guitar he's smooth talking fellow and then um, we have these beautiful women dancing which also symbolize um, you know a type of evil to the church ladies but to the rest of us it's really what we live for and all we want to do, so. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. Um, Jane and I really enjoyed ourselves putting this show up, and if you'd like to see it up close and personal, just message us and we'll get you in here. And um, have a great day.